and the best part about that is germany provides free education germany stands as one of the top countries in the european union with top education and there are around 350 plus public universities here in germany all across germany hi everybody welcome to my channel goodpreet in germany and today we are going to talk about the further education here in germany now in case if you want to come to germany there are three main options one is get directly getting a job from your home country second is coming through job seeker visa or the opportunity card and the third very main option is coming here on a student visa that is coming here either for your bachelor's or your masters and the best part about that is germany provides free education what do i mean by free education germany has free education in public universities where there is no tuition fee and these public universities are very well known universities with very high quality of education so tomorrow if you are looking to do masters or even bachelors then you can ask yourself this question whether you have to do that in your home country or you can also do in any other european country something like germany to be very honest when i was doing engineering i didn't know about this option in case if i knew about this option then maybe this is an option that we would have tried the one thing that stops us from that it's going to be very expensive well yes there are certain countries like us canada uk where the further education can be very expensive and not all of us can afford it but there are european countries where you can also get free education you can get lot of scholarship and as a very normal person coming from a humble background or a middle class background then you can also think of getting your education outside your home country it is very much possible germany stands as one of the top countries in the european union with top education subscribe to my channel in case if you want to know more information about germany and if you are looking to find your dream job somewhere outside your home country then you will get a lot of information on this channel so let me share my screen and show you what you should consider when you are thinking of moving to germany on a student visa so before we understand how to find a right course or a university here in germany let's understand certain statistics about germany and how does germany welcome international students so i created this uh, particular ppt for you so that you get more clear information Latest statistics as per twenty three twenty four. So if you see this, you will clearly understand the growth of international students here in Germany. How rapidly it has increased over the years from twenty sixteen. So in twenty sixteen, there were like three lakh forty thousand. Then it went to three lakh fifty eight thousand, and over twenty three, they have over four lakh fifty eight thousand students. from all over different countries here in germany these are just about international students so definitely there are more and more people coming in here in germany for studies and it is considered as one of the best options to move to germany or the any european country then why do you think you should move to uh, germany as an international student and what are the different benefits the very first benefit is free and affordable education as i mentioned germany has public universities and these public universities provide no tuition fee that means the uh, the tuition fee is free all you have to pay is certain college fee and certain administrative cost that can range between 250 to 350 euros per semester this has increased previously it was 100 to 150 euros but it keeps on changing due to the inflation cost and everything and it's different as per the different a uh, university but please understand this is per semester cost and it is not uh, per month cost and then you have to take care of your own expenses when it comes to accommodation and so on but there is no tuition fee so even if you are thinking of doing your masters in india sometimes that could be more expensive than doing your masters here in germany 
So think about it. Then the uh, quality of education here in Germany is excellent. You know that even though they are public universities, you might and they are government based universities, you might think the quality of education might be very less. Well, that is not true. In fact, some top universities from the world are there in Germany and it is known for innovation, science and different research. And it is worldwide known. So you can consider good public universities. Then the next very good option here is the opportunity to work. Now, while you are studying in the public university, you can do a part time job. And the part time job is as and also you can do a working student job or an internship. Now, when you do this, as per the law, the minimum wage is 12 euro per hour. So you will get something around uh say between a thousand to fifteen hundred euro per month if you get an internship that is something that you earn while you are studying and then you can take care of your own expenses so even if you are a person who does not have a lot of saving and does not have a lot of financial means you can still think of coming to germany on your own finance your own education it is very 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 much possible in case if you need help to understand how do you do that what what course you should select you can always get in touch with me but then you get a diverse student population i am going to show you more information on this topic but you get to study with different countries and diverse crowd and that exposure itself in it is a very big exposure that's only going to help you tomorrow. And one thing, after you complete your education, you get 18 months of job seeker visa, which means 18 months to find a job for yourself. And then you can just continue working here in Germany and you can live in Germany as long as you wish. Then you also have some numerous scholarships. From that and Henrich Ball Foundations and Deutschland Stipendium. There are other different scholarships which you can search. I will show you how to do that. But in case if you want to do a program which is a bit expensive, then you can also think of getting some scholarship which are available for international students here in Germany. Now, this is the statistics that I was talking about. So you see the top 10 countries which attracts international students are Iran, Russia, China, Syria, Turkey, Italy, Austria, Tunisia, Cameroon and India. But don't go by this number. Let me tell you a fantastic number. The international students are from different countries. Very recently, India has surpassed China. China had maximum international students coming to Germany. But as per the latest statistics, India has close to 42,000 578 international students that is making India the top country to attract international students and come to Germany for further education. And in 2016, there were around 13,000 students, and now it is around 214 percent increase over the span of seven years. So, do not think that it's impossible when so many people can come then you can also be part of it and the next thing is very important who should consider coming to germany as a student now as i told you there are three options of coming to germany which are the major three options first is job seeker visa then is directly getting a job and third is you can come as a student personally i feel coming here as a student is the easiest option of coming here to germany now, say in case you are not eligible for job seeker visa or an opportunity card, then I think you, you can consider coming here as a student. The second option is say in case you do not have enough work experience or you have a gap in your career, four or five years of gap or you were trying some entrepreneurship or have a business and now you want to get back to work but you also have a willingness of working in a European country then definitely coming here as a student is going to really help. Now, let me explain you. This one and this third topic where you have experience in multiple domains or different areas and now you are not able to find a job in your... Then coming to Germany is on a student visa is going to be very helpful. Now, let me explain you. Say, for example, you have experience in sales, marketing and then uh, you also have experience in some uh, technical field, okay, as a... IT support specialist or something and in between you tried your own business for two three years and uh, you were uh, doing some retail business 
now you want to get back to the industry now you have so much experience from different domains but getting back to an it industry you, uh, all of a sudden you do not have a relevant experience to show and because you do not have relevant experience even while applying for job seeker visa it might not work in your favor now the best option for you which can be a life changing option for you is you think of an it course a technical course here in germany enroll yourself in a public university do that course and then once you do that masters you go ahead and find a job in that it domain after you complete your masters so basically if you are even looking to change your domain from any other domain old domain if you want to get into a new domain you can do that say for example from it you want to get into finance go ahead and find a course in finance in germany and then while you are doing your course then you find a job in finance in a particular company after you completed your course so it's a very good option in case if you want to change your domain or if you have multiple experiences and you want to find your niche and then you want to start working on that experience and say if you always had a desire to move to a european country but you didn't know how to do that then coming here on a student visa is definitely going to help and lastly if you do not want to spend a lot and uh, want to make sure that you know you get good quality of education with less money being involved then again germany can be a very good option for you to come uh, what i am going to do is i am also going to show you how do you find uh, the right courses here in germany how do you find the right universities here in germany but as i've mentioned here you are the master of your own destiny i completely believe in it if there's anything that is stopping you from taking that step it's you yourself so do not question yourself so much and in case if you always had a desire to get outside your home country get international exposure that different multiple ways you can do that and germany can be one of the top uh, countries for you to consider let's talk about different intakes that you have here in germany so there are two main intakes one is the winter intakes and one is the summer intake the winter intake starts from september to october so basically the semester starts from either september and october and the deadline to apply for that is july and august so if the deadline is july and august then you have to start doing your research at least 3 months before so i would say give yourself good 3 to 4 months of time where you will do the research of the university you will verify your uh, current education documents and then you will go through the interview process you will uh, send your application and so on and so forth right so it will take good amount of 3 to 4 months then you will apply for the visa but keep in mind the deadline after the deadline is gone then you cannot apply for the university and usually it is known as a primary intake being the primary uh, year or the primary time to get into uh, germany on education there are more programs available there are more scholarships available for the primary uh, intake however the secondary intake is in summer, summer which happens in march and april and the deadline to apply for that is usually between december to january and that means that you have to again uh, do a lot of research beforehand even though it is secondary intake that means it can have less programs available but that does not mean there are no programs available and now i will show you one important statistics of how many public universities and private universities are there here in germany and also how do you search for these universities or these different courses which different websites you can use to find these courses and uh, apply how do you apply for these courses so let me show you some more in, important statistics why international students come to germany for education around a uh, 15 uh, percentage come because uh, there are it's a beautiful country to visit of course we all know that then around 35 percent come because the university has no fees and around 29 percent think that the quality of education is high here in germany and around 24 percent has pro have program in english so that is why the reasons why students feel germany is a good option then uh, again how international students plan to finance their studies in germany very important right so most of them that is around 37.5% they finance their own study by doing a part time job 
and then around uh, 29% is because they have their own funds and they can finance it 24% try to get a scholarship which they do and 9.2% take student loan you can even that is an option for you and the again interesting statistics is international students what do they plan to do after they finish their studies here in germany around 16.5% they go back to their home country around 14% they stay in germany for some time to travel and see new places however around 69% of the students they possibly live in germany and uh, for a longer period of time and work here so it's very interesting data for you to this also means that 69% of the people of coming to germany end up getting a job here in germany after uh, going ahead and uh, you know completing their education so it's possible to get a job it's possible to work here another important thing to notice the education which is free here in germany is in public universities and there are around 350 plus public universities here in germany all across germany but there are also universities which are uh, not in major cities in small towns cities as well so in case if you try to find such public universities then it becomes it can get easier for you to get your application selected get enrolled in a course here and also 90% of the students that come here in germany are enrolled in public universities so let me show you how do you search for these universities how do you search for the right course and how do you apply for these courses so one first website that you can use is mygermanuniversity.com don't worry i'm going to put this all in the description below so you can uh, search uh, use this website now this is a very 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 cool website it has lot of information and it's very straightforward so what you have to do is if you are finding a job in uh, english which is fine you have to only search whether you are looking for bachelor's masters or mba now please understand most of the technical education that you look to find here in germany those are free but all the uh, management courses and mba and all that can be uh, paid so that is something that you have to keep in mind so for example i'm seeing that i want to do masters in information technology so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add computer science and it and then select subject say i'm saying computer design and graphics and then i don't have a preference of a uh, program and i just say show results then it is going to show me all different uh, courses that different uh, universities are providing and it is also showing me what is the fees per semester these are all uh, the universities which has tuition free but you can also find free tuition free fees which you see here and it's a two year course and it's a public university public university of beirut and uh, you can go ahead and this is what you need to look for where the tuition fees is free okay and uh, so the then you see here then it is media architecture there is a master of science and here also you can find this particular course uh, similarly you have computer science for digital media here you also you can find so that this these are the different ways where you can find uh, different universities which has free tuition fee and you can also the best part is you can also come to germany for a masters education of one year there are few courses which are one year or 1.5 years and if you come for a 1.5 year course the last semester is usually internship and thesis so basically it's just one year that you have to really study and go to classes and then there is this another uh, portal which is called study portal masters now this is not only for germany this is for masters in any country uh, uk us canada any country that you want to find but say you can also use it for germany i am saying i want information technology and i want in germany and i will go ahead and search here and it is showing me 60 56 programs now here i can say that i do not want any tuition fee find here and here if you see on the right hand side you will get to know the fees so basically here it's free 
and it's University of Bonn, which is again close to Frankfurt. It's a two year course. This is one and a half years course. Here also it's free. It's on campus. It's MSc full time and also part time. Now when you click on it, you get to know more information. You get to know what date deadline you have to apply for. When is the start date for the course? and how does it rank okay third website which is again very important is dad.de so this is uh, the most uh, common and the reliable website that you can go to here you can go to international programs and again as i said search for what now here you can also search whether you want english or german only and then you can uh, search for your field of study and click on search and you are going to get a lot of results here again tuition fee you see none 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 so all these means that they are free education uh, all you have to do is send in your application and attend the interview make sure you have the right documents uh, you have to show some money in your blocked account and then go ahead and apply for the course so this is uh, are the three major websites that you can use i'm going to put it in the description below how you can search for a course here in germany how you can search for a university here in germany now it comes to how do you apply for the course so now every college will have a different or a university will have a different application procedure so basically what's important for you to do is now for example i want to do master's degree in advanced material analysis and this is in Freiburg. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to read all that. Okay. It starts winter course is given in English. It's master of science. That's the degree that I'm going to get. I can read all this here. And then basically what you have to do is you have to go ahead and uh, click on requirements and registration. And you have to go to the official website of the university to apply for it usually it always takes you there and then once you do that then you click on start application you read everything and you go ahead and apply most of these universities have tie up with something called as uni assist and uni assist what uni assist does is nothing but take your application file they submit it to the universities they verify whether you have the basic documentation or not they submit it to the university and uh, they charge you per application so that is something that is uni assist if you need a detailed video on uni assist let me know in the comment section I'm but there are certain universities who do not take application through uni assist they directly take the application so basically you can find uh, the email where you can apply or you can apply on their uh, official website and sometimes you will also find some student council uh, or some point, uh, point of contact with whom you can call. Your university is using which application form? That is something that you have to go ahead and click on that and research. So this was the whole idea of in case if you're planning to come to Germany on a student visa or you want to do bachelor's, master's or you want to come out of your home country but you're not sure what are the different options you can avail then you can go through this and this will give you a clear understanding, a good kickoff to your start, to your process in case if you're planning to come to Germany on a student visa. In case if you want to talk to me and understand more about this, you are worried and you are scared and you do not know. Basically, you feel there's too much information and you're not getting clarity, then book a one-to-one -one consultation with me. I can help you with that clarity i can help you finding a direction in case if you're looking for a job in germany then please follow me on my linkedin my instagram and also my youtube i keep posting lot of videos on which companies are hiring and i hire myself i am a recruiter most importantly i keep posting which are the companies hiring what is the german job market how do you create your right cv how do you attend the right interviews and one very interesting thing I am going to start a session where I am going to talk to the hiring managers and then we are going to share what are the insights of the hiring process here in Germany. It's going to be super, super informative for you. So in case if you are looking to come to Germany, you want all the information, this is the right place for you. In all this, understand that we are doing all this to be happy. So do not get worried. Do not get overwhelmed. Stay happy. Stay positive life is great at the end everything works out i am there to help you 
and you will find your way out. So do connect with me and take care. Have a great day. I'm going to see you again. If you want the PPT that I was sharing in the video, then you can click on the link below and you can go ahead and get the PPT. Also, it has a link to talk to me in case if you want to do that. I hope my session was helpful. Take care. Bye.